Yay. Hello guys. Welcome back to a Skyblue Simulation stream on Facebook. Uh, so guys, we're not streaming on YouTube. This is only on Facebook only. My name is Skyblue, aka Jeru, and uh, good evening to you, Sky Medic John Butterfield. Welcome aboard. Also, to those who like the stream, Sky Medic, thank you for liking the stream. David, what's up, Dave? Of a Splendid Aviation, like in the stream. Uh, Joseph, thank you Joe, for thanks for your luck in the stream as well. Man. Ryan Sakamichi, thank you for sharing the stream. I think the stream is lagging a bit, guys. I'm not too sure. Anyway, guys, um, primarily we are here to showcase. And it looks like the stream just froze again. Okay, no, because I put down the settings, right? I put down the settings. It was weird. I did the stream test a while ago. It was working. Um, kind of like smooth like but I'm not too sure now maybe I need to increase the FPS I don't know so first of all once <laughs> once our stream unfreezes we'll go ahead and uh, uh, let's see here yeah sure let's go ahead and get to drone view first of all guys let's go ahead and um, showcase the aerial sceneries in Kateklan. We have the new ramp. I've never been to the new ramp, obviously. Uh, Drone speed, maybe like 75. Rotation, maybe even 35. Okay, there we go. We got the sign boards, obviously. Arrivals. I think they get shuttled by bus into the uh, new terminal. I don't know if there's like... Oh wait. No, this is it, right? This is the terminal already. Arrivals. This is it. You got the parking lots here. You got some taxis, buses, and cars. I think it's a bug with FS2020. You got some uh, cars meshed into other cars and stuff. <laughs> and it's weird. Ryan Sakamichi, good evening, welcome. Gantalaga yung Gani area. We have the Marriott Hotels and Resorts thank under you construction. God, thank you for sharing the stream. Appreciate it. Welcome aboard. And thank you for liking. Yeah, I think I need to uh, hmm. really kind of configure this correctly. The the stream for FS2020. Explain. Works very well. I've got to tell you guys that. Got a couple of boats. Elevated taxiway. I think this is a limitation of the sim. I, I, I'm pretty sure everyone had to elevate this a bit. <laughs> I, I, I personally like the touch of uh, the personal aerial touch of what he's done over here. It's I gotta take a screenshot of this, guys. Hold on. There we go. Let me put this logo on the big boats. Pretty awesome. Um, anything else? Yeah, this is kind of as detailed as it goes. I don't know if Errol also touched on um, the island itself. If he did, uh, I don't think we're going to be going there too much often. Going over to the southwest side, I'm not sure if this is uh, FS2020, probably his work. We got a cruise ship, wow. Two cruise ships, cargo container. I, I, I'm pretty sure Air will modify this as well. Pretty sure this is like a port of some kind, the Roros. Yeah, there you go. Oh, wow. It's nice on the ground view. It's pretty good. Got a couple of container ships. You have the old terminal here. Kind of elevated for some reason. Departures. Oh. Wait, so this this is where the departures are and the arrivals are over there, if I'm not mistaken. So they get bussed over to um, the new stand. <laughs> the papi lights are just protruding out into the uh, the old apron it's funny so like each bus is marked with a signboard denoting the flight number 
where they're supposed to be going. We do have like Philippine Airlines, Air Swift, and Air Wan. Departures, yeah, we know that. The wind here is favoring runway 24, so we're not going to be doing a backtrack here. Security guard, security gate, <clears throat> airside. Patek Lem Jetty Port in Serendation and Puerto Barca Island. Right, right. Uh, thanks for correcting me. The Jetty Port, yeah. So I kind of picked it up. Nah, this was like a, a custom model because these are the um, ships going to the island itself. So everyone, hello. Welcome to the Sky Blue Simulation stream. We are uh, we just started kind of like uh, showcasing your work here in Katiklan. So ganda, guys. Again, if you guys want to check out the sceneries, FS2020 and X-Plane 11, go to any build store. Uh, and go to the sim market as well. I, <laughs> uh, this never fails to amuse me. I like I like what Airville did here with the boats. <laughs> I like those logos. Oh my gosh. You're going to see them littered all throughout. Look at that. Look at that. Wait, did you go as far as here? Wow. <laughs> Everything looks so lively. I can't believe it. God. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Love it. It's a shame that we won't be flying into here. We'll be flying to Zambanga. We'll be flying out of Katiklan. Alright, so we got... We got a protruding windsock here. I think it's a, another sim limitation. Ooh, so another custom... Oh, is this a... Uh... <laughs> very nice. Very nice. No, this is detail. You have the ads for uh, the cockfighting. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. A basketball court, of course. What is the Philippines without basketball courts? Nothing. Um, okay, so according to the chart, let's see here. Hey, that is my chart. Get it out. I can't believe when you close it, you have to load everything again. Yeah, I just want, I just want to see where the tower is. So this is, the, uh, I assume this is the tower, even though it's kind of small. Yeah, the control tower is here. So this is the tower. It's kind of short. No. No need for a big tower, obviously. So that's pretty much it for a land side. We've got some uh, construction here. I don't know. Are they going to expand uh, the Kataklan ramp? Or is there going to be something else here? I can't wait to see Kataklan. Yening uh, it's, it's really small. I, know. I wanna... Okay, This is, look, look how... I love the camera system. Okay, I kind of love, hate the camera system of FS2020. Um, it's kind of slow, but it's also very convenient because look at this. You can get the details here on construction. You can like, uh, oh, let's see. <laughs> Guys, baka <mahilwaya>. Whoa! <laughs> okay, seriously though, let's, I, I want to, I, I want to look at the detail that Air will put and the effort <laughs> that he put here. It's, it's amazing. Holy crap. Thank you for doing this, sir. Very much appreciate. Hey, thank you for the, uh, you know, the scenery, sir. Well, I mean, what? It's the least I can do after you uh, provided us with this. It's it's really nice. Now well, that being said, oh wait, I can see these are dual lighting. Did I mess up my Boracay installation? Because I can see uh, floodlights front facing, and then you have um, floodlights. Uh, omnidirectional. So I, maybe it's the way I installed it i'm not sure or is that in katiklan talaga like gan talaga dual flood lighting setup nila all right so we'll go ahead and uh get started we don't have any atc at all online i was in the middle of doing my what the heck dude it's runway 24 okay uh load sheet final so this is gonna be it. Calculate. Uh, we're getting 127, 140, 140. 
two sinister and sinister melon fruit really okay um yeah i think i was provided before with a free work at the clan i'm so sorry but uh the thing is so bearing that bearing the floodlights which isn't in the uh, final aerial scenery you guys exactly know which elements are made by aerial it's you you guys know it looks so much better it looks so much better right now so okay so Zambonga, i don't think i have something okay i don't know what the pushback truck is doing here <laughs> something is wrong <laughs> uh good evening sir uh v1 uh good evening uh thank you for stopping by the stream man right all right so i have to put this uh on as well yeah, I don't think I have a conflicting Zambanga scenery installed. I hope not. Uh, I checked the um, I checked the Zambanga scenery before I went uh, here to Kateklan. I don't think we are gonna be having any conflicts whatsoever. Yeah, let's see here. Let's see. Do I have? No, I I I believe I don't have a. Another Zambanga scenery. It should be the only one. Alright. Oh yeah, so yeah, I do have a conflicting scenery. Anyway, uh, RPMZ. Nope, I don't have. So, Airwheel is going to be the only Zambanga scenery that I have. That's good for us. Wait, what? What is the in it, Biko? Oh wait, because we didn't put it either. Okay, so dip strip. Um, we haven't uh, finalized everything. We need to put the. Shit. Okay, there we have to put the alternate routing. So Zambo for sure. There's only one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm also very confident that there's only one. Sorry for that. <laughs> Anyway, Kogel to Bravo. Uh, wait. So here's the thing that's annoying. That's annoying me. If you do something on the alternate flight plan, it goes up to the uh, the active flight plan. Sybil three Romeo for ILS one seven. God, I, I okay. Here's the thing. I also really wish that the MCDU was faster. I know in real life that it varies, but come on, it's a sim. <laughs> I want this to be faster. <laughs> Our secondary is going back to Katiklan, and that would be via a right turn, because there's terrain if you do a left turn, to Criso, but uh, from there Cabal, Criso and then Cabal. Uh, approach the QNH here is 1010. Temperature is 28. And what were the winds again? Uh, and the winds were 200 at 6. So i do that. So again, we're going to take runway 24. Rad nav, nothing really uh, worth tuning into right now. And it be. Captain Kenneth Uli, thank you for liking the stream. Good evening, welcome aboard. I got to keep my camera down. Welcome back. I, I never left, man. <laughs> I never left. Uh, actually, uh, while I was... internet I was recording videos and posting them on YouTube. So in a way, I wasn't really gone. But yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, and thanks. Thanks, man. Jared Paul, good. Magandang gabi din Good evening, good evening. Welcome to the Skabla Stimulation Stream. All right. So, um... <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, you, the final load sheet. There. Thank you for sharing the stream, Jerry Paul. If I'm not mistaken, the final load sheet here is it, yeah, it's in here. So I'll accept this one, and uh, thirty. Wait, ZFW is fifty nine point zero slash. 
And Tom Schweed, good evening. Welcome aboard the Skyview Simulation stream. Long time. Appreciate you for coming, for stopping by. And then we have 30.7. Block fuel is going to be 6.1. Perf. Uh, yeah, we did this, and uh, it's an R nav departure. That's kind of like, oh god, yeah. we do have to put like an 800, 300. So 830, 3030 on reduction acceleration. It's gonna be a big U-turn. Okay, my memory is poor. So flex 57, one and down 0 0.1. So one down 0 0.1. Flexing 57. Yee, tower is on. Oh, Kenzo's online. Nice. Uh, I will get clearance from him later. At her. FPPV. Ow, 06. By later, I mean we'll get clearance from him now. What are your thoughts on X Plane 12? I'm disappointed, but yeah, yeah, I mean. It's, uh, I don't think I can pass judgment on x 12 right now because it's just a beta. Um, I can say that the graphics have improved, but you know, I'm not uh, really strictly a graphics kind of guy. But it's so much better than default x 11. That's all I can say. And I'm awaiting... What happened? Yakatik Land Towers Online. I am awaiting more developments and updates. That includes third-party software as well. So right now, I'm just reserving my judgment. Yeah, it's it's beta. I mean, it's early access. I think, I I I think it should have been marketed as Explain Twelve Early Access because it's not getting through to uh, a lot of people. That it's not going to be you know FS Twenty Twenty. It's never going to be about FS Twenty Twenty. Austin is doing his own thing. Austin, the, the head of the Laminar. So yeah, um, it's doing well for an early access. I want to I want to see it grow. I want to see the potential for X Plane Twelve to grow. Obviously. Okay. So with that said, we'll go ahead and da -da 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 -da. let's get our clearance from Katiklan Tower. Katiklan Tower, good evening. Squadnik 20, 8320, stand for requesting clearance. Zamboanga, runway 24. Squadnik 20, Katiklan Tower, good evening. It's been a while. Hello. You're clear to Zamboanga via Kalibo 6 Alpha departure. Spec runway 24, Derek Iloilo, Wakan Alpha 461, Indo. Flat maintain, flat level 360, Swak 4701. Sputnik 20, cleared Zambanga Calibo 6 Alpha Departure, Runway 24, Direct Ilo Alpha 461, Malte Tindo, Squawk 4701, Sputnik 20. Sputnik 20, read back is correct, advice 34, push negative finish. We'll call you back later, Sputnik 20. Okay, squawking 4701. Hmm. 4, okay. Four seven zero oh, freaking heck four seven zero one. All right, four seven zero one, and um, we have the APU on. Is the external power disconnected? Let's get the ground services away. Everything is away. How about the pushback? Okay, how do you connect the pushback truck again? <laughs> Grab the cockpit. They call up the tug. There you go. I have no idea what the pushback truck is doing. I think it's the conflicting scenery, but I'm not too sure about that. Never mind. Okay, let's do a quick PA before we uh, head out. Ladies and gentlemen from New York Flight Deck, you're curious speaking on behalf of this Clark Base crew. Welcome aboard Sputnik Aviation Flight 20 with service from Kataklan to Zambanga. Appreciate you've chosen Sputnik Aviation as your island of choice heading into Zambanga, even though you have other options. The choice was yours, but a pleasure, definitely ours. We'll be pushing back in a few minutes once we do. Uh, the runway is just beside us. We're about five minutes uh, for taxi. Once we're airborne, meals up. Flight time is about one hour and one minute. Cruising at 36,000 feet. We're expecting a 
smooth ride all the way to Zambanga. So we'll try and get the seatbelts off as early as possible. Continue to keep your seatbelts on for your safety and the safety of others. So sit back, relax, enjoy the rest of the flight. And again, we'll get back to you as we get closer into the Zambanga area. We're going to see significant developments during the flight. Once again, from the flight deck, aboard this spinning duration flight. Welcome aboard, y'all. Camera crew, doors for departure. Okay, let's go ahead and do a uh, briefing. First cross check, KH-1010, FD's on, nav range 20 constraints, speed dashes, setting dashes, MBS, 15,000 set. BS dashes, oxygen mask is gonna be tested, but not like this. All stations, all stations, static line first, KH-1010. Yes, it is. It is. Okay, where's my navigraph? One zero one. Yeah, one zero one zero. It's, it's the closest we have. PF reading climb blue, blam blue, and FD two below four zero knots. One two seven blue, one four zero magenta wings level. Altitude check indicating ten feet on QNH one zero one zero. No difference. One five thousand blue heading and tracking one five six. Any reading range for zero one thousand. It's the first waypoint. Head bearing two four nine two miles. View or one and two on auto tune pressure landing elevation. Auto thirty feet status of the aircraft is normal. Okay, departure briefing first. We'll brief the um, uh, stand by. Yeah, we will be briefing the clearance first. Runway two four, Calibo six Alpha, squawking four seven zero one. So again, we're expecting on the Calibo six Alpha departure. That would be chart ten three Bravo, thirty November twenty eighteen, effective six December. Same charts, same charts. For Godofredo P. Ramos, Smiley Philippines Airport, or Nevis ID. MSA Airport Reference Point, North Sector 3600, South 4600, Transition Altitude 11000. Kilibo 6 Alpha, our departure is runway 24, initial climb on track 245 to 1000. Direct to Criso, then to Kilibo VR at or above 8000. We should be level 214 uh, by then. Fuel prediction extra fuel is 0 0.8 tons or 22 minutes. Pilot flying briefing, we are parked here at stand at number. Come on, man. Don't do this to me. <laughs> no, don't do that. Okay. Stand number four, so chart 10-9, 20 August 2021, same charts. Same charts. Uh, we'll be pushing back facing east, expect here. Line up via Echo 1, so we'll start both engines when 1, no anti ice required. Uh, doing a PAX off takeoff with weather radar on. And. Uh, autopilot on immediately after departure, well, you know, five seconds first, but we'll make it ten seconds. Heading uh, 245, actually, you know what, let's just hand fly, let's just hand fly the, um, the Airbus until we make that U-turn. So, we have enough stop margin in case we have to abort the takeoff, runway 24, runway heading is 245. Um, we encounter a problem on departure, if there were ATC, we would announce the nature of the problems, their intentions, Go direct to Criso and set up for the RNA runway 24. <clears throat> um, that would be our EOS ID as well, Dera Criso. It's a land ASAP red, make a right down runway 24, commence emergency landing. Threats! Mm, uncontrolled airport after towers airspace. So we'll do wing lights on to increase our visibility. Announce the intentions clearly on frequency. Listen. Also vigilantly on frequency, cross-check the position on the NG, ND and visually separate. Single pod operations, configure early as required. And that's it. Our departure briefing is complete. Combat preparation checklist, gear pins and covers, remove. Fuel quantity 6,080 kilograms, balanced. Seatbelts on, 80 years. Now, Barrett, QNH100, QH100. Cockpit preparation checklist complete. For VATS and purposes, we'll do on. Uh, yes, mode Charlie. And then we can. Hold on. Momai, thank you for sharing the stream. Other Fiona, hello. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by the Scabble Simulation stream. Jared Pole, Sharpening Liver Yet. Yeah, it's uh, made by the boys over from Sputnik Aviation. Go ahead and uh, request push and start. Sputnik 2 0, request push and start. Push and start to cruise, runway 24, 1-1 ready for taxi. Call you back ready for taxi, runway 24, push and start to cruise, 1-2-0. Okay, 
Beacon light on. No, not strobe lights. Not strobe lights. Make it auto. Beacon light on. Windows are closed. Slides will be on. Firstly, recital parking brake on. Four star checklist. Parking brake on. Take out streets and throws. V1127, V140, V2140, Flex 57. Windows closed. Beacon on. Four star checking complete. Grandpa copy. Clear for a push. Facing. Oh god, I have to push myself back. I forgot. Uh, facing east. Okay. Start. These parking brakes, brakes release, we'll push, and we'll start both engines. <laughs> okay, let's see how good I am uh, pushing myself back. Let's go ahead and start engine to engine. We'll select ignition. No amber crosses. Bleed it. You'll be on the right side. Engine two master switch on. Okay, okay, okay. Straight, straight, straight. Straight, straight, straight. Right, right, right. Oh my god, this is the most inconvenient pushback ever. The most inconvenient pushback ever. Uh, straight, right, 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 right. <laughs> okay, stop. Pushback complete, set parking brakes. Break set, pressure up. Stop, stop, stop everything. I want to disconnect the tug now. Good start in engine 2, no amber cross of leader, left side engine 1, master switch on. Come on. This is the most inconvenient pushback. I, I love the ground textures, oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> brakes, brakes. Yo, 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 yo. Stop. <laughs> I hate the pushback system in FS2020. I hate it with a passion. <laughs> I really do. Engine 1 stable, pilot flying flow, engine 1 selector norm, AP bleed as required, APU as required, pilot monitoring, arm spoilers, reset rudder trim, flaps. I'm, I'm surprised that we can still do flaps one here, maybe it's a, a light uh, aircraft. And then trim will be down 0 0.1. So sensitive. Status of the aircraft. Well, clear to disconnect cancels on the right side. Assume hand signals have been seen. After start checklist, anti ice engine offering off, ECAM status. Check bitch trim 20. Uh, sorry, 29.1%. Better trim neutral after start check is complete. Flight control check. Pull up, pull down, neutral. Pull left, pull right, neutral rudder, pull left. All right, neutral. Okay, request taxi. Spending two zero, request taxi. Spending two zero, taxi Echo one, hold short on me two four. Next to Echo one, hold short of two four, spending two zero. Yeah, looks like the right side. Turn off and taxi lights are on. Parking brake, off. Ah, I'll do a brakes check and then let me just get the uh, sterile cockpit up here. You guys will see my uh, side stick. Whoops. There we go. So far, the stream isn't lagging, so that's good for us. Brakes check. Pressure zero. Takeoff confirmation briefing. We're two four departure. Initial climb level one five zero. On the Calibo six Alpha, squawking four seven zero one checked. Assume a uh, predictive wind shear is auto. And cabin is ready. 
Taxi checklist, flight control check, flap setting config 1 plus F, config 1 plus F, and a predictive wind shear, auto and auto, engine mode selector norm. Eke memo, take off no blue taxi checklist config. 220, runway 24 at Echo 1, we'll be ready for departure upon reaching. 320, after Echo 1, line up and wait for runway 24. After Echo 1, line up and wait for runway 24, spot 20. Okay, we got line up and wait clearance, that means, let's see, backs off. Cabin crew seats for takeoff. G A R A. Runway two four confirm two four confirm and approach clear. Runway clear lineup checklist takeoff runway runway two four full length two four full length T C A S. T A R A packs one and two off lineup checklist complete again on um, first reduction packs one and two on because I keep I kind of sometimes forget that. The view is pretty bad. Break on. Wind two zero, wind two zero zero six, runway two four two for takeoff. Runway two four two for takeoff, but wind two zero. Got it. Ready, ready, takeoff. Manplex 57, SRS, Auto Trust Blue. Set. Let's check. Move on. Rotate. That's a plan. Gear up. Nav check. Close climb, bottom thrust. Pack one on. Pack two on. Bad. Right, I missed playing this manually. Let's see if I can land it well as well. I'm not. I'm not too good with landing the uh, Phoenix. I think or FS2020 for that matter. Next time, climb up blue. Just my spending for zero. See ya. <clears throat> the speed lap zero. Speed check lap zero. To some spoilers. Gears up. Turn off lights off. Nose lights off. Jumbo selector norm TRA empty ice is required. I don't mean TCAS standby. It's like, what do you mean? Oh, for heaven's sake, really. Fly, fly, fly first. Altitude reporting is off. I didn't do that. Jesus, man. Ah, it's the gremlins. It's the gremlins. All right, I, I kind of got the feel for it already. Autopilot one on. Autopilot one on. 
Alright, so 30 level correction, level 360. Let's go straight there with. No, <laughs> I'm not used to the mouse clicks again of uh, FS3020. What the heck is this? The 36,000 set, open climb all blue, 36,000 blue, checked. I thought it was TOD, that's IOO. Alright y'all, we are airborne. What do you guys think about that? Smooth takeoff. Got thick blend traffic advisory, responding to zero, Airbus A320 airborne, 9500, climbing level 360, currently 27 miles southwest of Calibo, correction, northwest of Calibo VOR. On the Calibo 6 Alpha departure. Passing 10,000, landing lights are track. Are track. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Seat belts off. Just like a port. And ND. They're kind of off. Copy secondary. Clear ad nav. We prog optimum level 350, can max level 376. GPS primary accuracy I check. God man. This is such a hassle. Uh, RPMZ, that's a cruising. Yeah, 124. Passive transition L2, pull standard. Standard set cross check, passing level 117. Now check. Difference of 20 within limits for this altitude. RPMZ27. Reference fix 124. That's 36 times 3 plus 16. That's going to be 124. We'll see you later. Let's give ourselves a shortcut. Why don't we go direct to. Da -da 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 -da. Let's go direct to Wakan. Heading mode muna tayo. Oof. No, 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 no. Um, make it heading like 210 or something. So we're doing this just to start the turn. Heading, heading 210 blue. And open climb. Direct to Wakan. The beam points confer a fur. Nav. Direct Wakan with the beam points. Check. Yeah, shortcuts for the win. Ryan Butter Rosalani sa Madrid Airport, Galing Santiago de Compostela, nag upgrade from phone ko. Branco's Vivo Y21T when it comes to gaming phone. I'm not really, I'm not uh, very well versed with uh, phones or gaming phones. I didn't, hindi ko alam na gaming phones exist eh. Or is it like, Nagkataon lang na maganda sa gaming. That's nice to know, Ryan. Nice to know. That uh, your soft, your hardware works better with uh, uh, your SIM in the phone. Nice one, man. Nice one. Right. So this is pretty much it. This is our departure. We're going to be looking for Zamboanga. Our ETA to Zamboanga, it's just gonna be kind of like a short flight, just a one hour and one minute flight from Airborne. So we've been on in the air for like seven minutes. Should be like 52 minutes to arrival. Or 53. Okay, no, 54 minutes? But with this shortcut, yeah, we should be good. UTC in the sim is 0108, which means we will be arriving in about. Yeah, 58 minutes from now, 58 minutes. We had a six minute taxi to the runway. Very good, very good. Everything looks Gucci. That's all I gotta say. Navigraph Simlink, yeah, obviously. All right, so we're gonna look for We're not going to prepare now for Zamboanga, we're just going to look for alternate approaches just in case. 
View our Zulu, runway 27. That's going to be the secondary approach to Zimbabwe. I'm pretty sure the winds are coming from the uh, the west, like 200 when I last checked. Of course, it might have changed, but we'll see. We'll tackle this to night mode. I honestly like night mode better. I also have to... So you don't need the checklist. We don't need the in-game fuel system. Well, yeah, weather, we might need that. We don't have to like manipulate the weather. Replay. Yeah, we do. Travel to camera. We might need the replay in case we need to, even though the replay is bugged in all sorts of ways. Parang sumakail. going to Zambanga. That's nice, right? I mean, it, here's the thing. Uh, here's the thing. I know X-Plane 12 is out, so, you know, while we're discussing about realism and immersion i can say that fs 2020 is what i love for doing vfr flying number one and then procedures in ifr it depends on the plane i guess and the third party add-on um here in fs 2020 but in general for x-plane i love doing you know procedures and you know it depends on the add-on i love the tollist the a340 uh, that's why I also keep coming back to X-Plane, but I don't think one is better than the other. They can uh, both uh, sims do different things that cater to different people, to different needs. And that's my stance on this whole nonsense. Eh, X-Plane 12 sucks. Um, or FS2020 is better, P3D is better, yeah, I mean, every sim, again, every sim has their own identity. I love both equally. There we go. So I'm going to put the runway headings here. Got the extended center line, there we go. So of course, once we alight in Zambanga, we're gonna check the uh, sceneries. Alright, so let's go outside. Too loud, too loud, too loud, too loud. <laughs> okay, okay. There you go. Yeah. What do you mean my session expired on the same way? Are you kidding? Camera system, I hate it with a passion. <laughs> this is so confusing. Okay, I need to adjust, I'm just lazy with the camera settings, that's also the reason why. So I need to put down speed to like 90 or something like that? Even zero? Sorry. Zero is nothing, you can't move at all. Seven. There you go. Ooh, okay, there we go. That's a good shot. Very good shot. 
<laughs> so my kai is uh, so beans. Can we go inside? I need to explore this. Let's check. What? <laughs> Why can you hear? Wait, I thought the doors are armed. Wait, are they armed? I, I forgot what an Airbus arm door looks like. I need to Google that. No. Oh. Amazing. Wait, what's in here? Oh, it's a it's a working gallery. With L uh, L two and R two, I think. You gotta love the detail of this. Just look at this. It even has the two open push flap to grasp handle if handle fully up to the horizontal green line. Do not open door for a warning light flashing, cabin pressurized. So there should be a light somewhere here that I cannot see right now. Amazing. Let's get inside the cockpit. We got the coffee, we got the food. High voltage, crew only. That's us. That's us. Hello, y'all. What's up? Wait. Okay, this is stupid. You can't... Really. You have to go into this view. I don't want that EFB on that side. <clears throat> Why don't we just put the... Uh... Yeah, the landing. Army's dry, assume 27, apply Matar. Oh wait, the Matar is 070 at 2, which means we need to take Army 09. Army 09. Landing weight, it's 63.7 right now. Current board is 4.6. Landing is 3.5, minus 1.1 from now. Landing weight will be 62.6. So put that in, we'll bang that in. Do we need to use the whole runway? Baham log download baha na explain mo mobile. Yung nga lang subscription baha na sa 300 pesos plus yung target ng kasi phone ko sa sa internet for in RFS. I think you know. I think Xpen also had a few upgrades on mobile. I'm not sure exactly to what extent, but I think you will enjoy it also as well, Ryan. Sorry, what were you doing about? Yeah, here we go. I was looking. Oh, I, I closed my Navigraph. Crap. I gotta wait for it to load again. Uh, yeah, moving maps. Really, we're not out of... Okay, no. Um, so how do we do this for runway 09? 09... We can do medium auto brakes. Okay, avoid tight turning on the runway. Use the turnaround pad at the end of either runway. Okay then. So we do have to use the whole runway then. Gotcha. So, okay, can we do config 3? We... <laughs> we'd be using the whole runway, but sure. Let's do max reverse. This is our safety margin. Okay. So later, why don't we do config 3? See what happens. And that's going to be our landing distance. Yeah, so we'll be abiding by this instruction. Avoid tight turning on the runway. So we're not going to be like turning around here and then going to the ramp. We're going to be going through the uh, the turnaround pad. We're going we're going to be using the turnaround pad. So we're going to use the whole runway. Config three landing. Okay, G. Config three low auto brakes max reverse. Hell, if we can do it in the reverse idle, that would be good as well. <laughs> 
But uh, that'll be stretching the safety margin a bit. So I'm just gonna do max reverse. Two, four, three, so yeah, this is it. And uh, I think there's a bug with FS2020 that the last aircraft that had a cell cal code has its cell cal code on the next load, which is kind of weird. It was a thousand ago, checked. Um, there is weather info for Zambonga, right? Like, Yellowknife Airport? Where are you? In the US? You know what? I'm not gonna touch this. Maybe my sim might crash. We'll see. Uh, we'll check the Matar later. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure because um, uh, Mach Alt Star. I'm pretty sure the uh, weather here is accurate on the FB. In fact, why don't we request it from our uh, ops team? Operators uh, below. Why don't we? Use the Atsu. And why don't we request for the weather? Weather request RP. This is so bright. MZ. Yes, I want the Matar and the Bath. Please send. We will get a message from Ops also. Weather data RPMZ run uh, 0702 later it's gonna be well what is the Zulu time now? What does it say there? It's 123002 And it's gonna be increasing to five knots. So, yeah, sure. So we do have to take runway 09. Let's uh, change that up now. We also have to change the charts that we have. So technically we're not preparing for the arrival, we're just changing, you know, our charts and stuff. RMP9. And then if we're gonna do 9, um, the approach is gonna be from... Final... Dindy 1 Echo. Like Zulu 412. Good. I mean, zero 09, called Gel 2 Alpha. RPM Z9 this time. 92, 272. Son of Borasha. There we go. Radius of 124. It's going to be our uh, reference for top of descent. Alright, we'll do our top of descent, uh, we'll do our descent preparation, we're at 10 minutes, so I'll hand over the controls, knock all crews nav, AP1, FD2, level 360. Next waypoint, walk down, Unicom, 122 decimal 8. Your controls and comms. I'll do a PA, ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck here. Amazing uh, crew speaking from the flight deck, from this uh, Clark base crew. In about 10 minutes, we'll be starting our top of descent and beginning our descent into Zambanga to be touching down in about 35 five minutes. Weather information in Zambanga, we have a slight breeze from the east, good visibility. Uh, some few clouds, but otherwise a good day for flying. Temperature is uh, about 26 degrees Celsius. 
And again, we slated for an on-time arrival. Again, we appreciate that you've chosen uh, Sputnik Aviation is our ALM choice, setting to Zambanga, even though you have other options. The choice was yours, but a pleasure definitely ours. Weather transiting through our final destination is Zambanga. We wish you a safe and blessed journey all the same. For more information on the arrival, put in badge and info, connect with flights, if ever. Our gate agents on the ground will be happy to assist. Sit back, relax, enjoy the rest of the flight, and uh, let us get you down safe and smooth into Zambanga. Even if the seatbelt signs are off, Keep your seatbelts on for your safety and the safety of others. Once again from Flight Deck, we hope to see you another Sputnik Aviation flight, but until then, we'll see you. I can prove where I can for arrival. All right, let's go ahead and prepare for the arrival. So we just did this again. Let's check the charts. Let's check Tindu, Tinder, Tin, Tin, Tinda. Sorry, that's the wrong uh, chart. It's 10 2 alpha. So, Tindo at above 7,000, Maximum 412. Yeah, we'll enter destination data, stand by. What? Yo, overlay, bro. MSA, ARP, so that's going to be RPM Z25. Four one two four zero four four zero two. RPM Z09. Missed approach is 420, 22, 10, and then back to 08. Right now, we do have a VR Zulu on the 09. We're going to use that as the backup approach. Just in case. It's going to be 1139 and 90. Uh, RPMZ09. Make it to Approach, so the RNAV09 is as follows, by the way, uh, 0702, the winds, obviously the transition level here is 130, QNH and temperature it's 26 and 1012. Again, it's going to be config 3 landing with max reversers and low auto brakes. Config 3, low auto brakes, EBWS, landing flaps 3, secondary flight plan, copy active. So the secondary approach will be the view or Zulu, runway 09. Take a Torres, probably. So, Torres. That would be a straight in approach. 570 plus 50, 620. Okay, please check my work. Pilot monitoring. Thank you. Okay, ready? Ready. So we'll do a briefing on the chart. Refer to chart 10 2 alpha for Zamwanga. 24 June 2022, Zamwanga Principal Airport, Philippines, RNF Star, same chart, same chart. Tradition level 130, RNP1, Dindu RNP level 109, airport reference point, north sector 6200, southeast 3400, south 5000, southwest 3400. Routing Tindo at above 7,000, Max Zulu 412, Max 250 knots at above 5,200. Transition to the RNP runway 09, that will be chart 12 1. 17th April 2020, effective 23 April, same chart, same chart as frequencies is published. MNC, same with the star. And. I didn't put 
the uh, decision altitude here, 584. So from Mike Zulu 412, 2500 to Mike Zulu 404, we're doing the final approach course of 904. At 2500, maintain that altitude to Mike Zero, Zulu 402, max 185 knots, follow the 3 degree glide path down to minimum, so 584 feet. Where we should see the airport environment or the runway environment of runway and indicator lights and Pappy left side. If we don't see any of these, the missed approach will be the climb magnetic crack 0904 to 2500 at Mike Zulu 420. Turn right direct to Mike Zulu 422, 410, 408. Don't actually 240 knots until 422. Then 250 knots until 408. Fuel prediction extra fuel is 2.8 tons or 1 hour and 23 minutes. Pilot flying briefing we'll be doing a fully managed accelerated approach, heading VS all the way. Uh, to be 1000 feet stabilized with VAP config 3, and if we can, autopilot off with auto thrust on. Mm. If I'm not satisfied with the flight director performance, We'll do bird on, FD's off, and set runway track of 0, 9, or, I think 0, 9, or 2, not 0, 9, or 4, isn't it? Yeah, 0, 9, or 2. Um, continuing our approach, so runway 0, 9, Pappy on the left side, angle of 3 degrees, runway heading 0, 9, or 2. We'll be doing reverse max, reverse, yeah, reverse idle, sorry, reverse max, and auto brake low to vacate actually according to the instructions avoid tight turning on the runway use the turnaround pad on either uh, end of either runway so we'll slow down to taxi speed and make a 180 at the turnaround pad here in 27 enter the ramp via the east uh, taxiway and um, threats uncontrolled airport so again to increase our visibility get our wind lights on and um, configure early as required due to single pilot operations. And again, announce your intentions clearly on frequency and slowly. And visually separate as required, cross check the position on the ND. Uh, what else? Our call sign is Sputnik to zero, that's it. Vigilance on comms. Okay, that's our arrival briefing. So hand over the controls to me again. Okay, so mock Valkyrie's nav AB1 of the two authorized level 360. Next waypoint Tindo. My controls, your comms. Okay, so how far are we? We're pretty near. Let's go ahead and start a descent down to mm, say level 220 initially. Or level 200. I did forget to do wind data for descent. Oh, I did not. Okay, here we go. Manage descent, descent all blue, level 2 zero, zero blue chat. Check it, check it, check a room. We do have the alternate here of uh, Jensen. That's why it's there. Because we put in an alternate. Features teaser by Navigraph. Hold on. Ooh, VFR routings. I got it. Nice. Are gonna be VFR routings. Nice. Porting points. Landmarks.
runway winds. Metar? God. Wow. I like the next Navigraph update. No doubt influenced by the FS 2020. By FS 2020. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. It's weird that it goes to the bottom of econ speed, so we'll do 280 knots. Zero, please. It's a lot of drag. I can't even see some phone right yet. Tim Doe, the Mike Zulu 412, can you see it next to waypoints? Yes, we can. I forgot there's a tilt. So the tilt doesn't really work still. <laughs> it's stuck at like one degree up. That's fine. Okay, to send to 7,000. 7,000 set. Level 7 zero blue. Check a roo. Sure, Globe, sure, thanks.
configuration. Wait, yeah, so the Matar is 0702, still. So we'll do 250 here after one down to speed limit point. Purchasing. There's Zambunga, there's the Matar. Alright, still good. Very nice. There we go. Looking good. Let's just live like... Okay, there we go. So, I'll be... Passing transition levels like KH1012. KH1012, set cross check, passing 12,800. Now check, no difference.
Two five zero thrust idle. So Mugga Traffic Advisory, Sputnik 2022 miles northwest, descending on the Dindo 1 Echo arrival for your RNAV runway 09. Uh, 10,000, descending 5,000, initially is a Mugga. Say 10,000, landing lights on. Landing lights on, not the landing lights on, seat belts on. Constraints, train on ND. Read prog and approach checklist, GPS primary, XCI yeah, check. Approach checklist, VARF, Q and H, 1012, K012, seat belts on, minimum MD584, auto brake low, engine low selector, no approach checklist. Make it 5000 first. Zambanga traffic advisory is putting through zero, Airbus A320, 17 miles northwest Zambanga, 6,500 descending, 5,000 initially. Uh, commencing the RNP runway 09 approach will report to established final Zambanga. Thousand five hundred no settled scent diesel will just be up ahead. I think we have to uh Activate the approach phase. We won't make the 185 knots uh, restriction. Half. So, Bucket Traffic Guys are responding to 0A320, turning final runway 09, uh, 1K miles. So, Bucket. Laps 1, speed checked. Laps 1. Check, 
speed brakes. Strong cockpit. Let's go. And get brooch, final lap. Set misapproach 2500, already set. There's a Manga traffic advisory, spending Q0 A320 on a 1 0 mile final on A09. Sun will uh, it's too early for configuration. I might have the wrong inside, we'll see. Laps two, speed checked, laps two. You down? Can we proceed for landing? Lobs three, speed checked. Lobs three, money checklist, EKMMO, landing, no boo, money checklist. So two reds, two whites, yeah. The uh, flight director is doing its job. Okay, here we go. So let's disconnect autopilot, manual flight, we'll do off rest on. So Morgan traffic advisory, sputnik to zero, A320, five mile final runway zero, nine is Morgan. Feel for the aircraft. Really, the wind is shifting. One thousand. So check stabilized. Speed. Check. Minimum. Done well. Thank you for stopping Five by, hundred. bro. Hope you're doing well. Check. Continue. Visual. Four. Whee. It's kind of turbulent here. Three hundred. Yep, yep, yep. It's turbulent. Kind of fighting with the aircraft. I have positive control. Going under a bit. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Ten. Five. There we go. Wait, <laughs> I didn't notice we were already <laughs> touched down. <laughs> Oops. Okay. All the way, all the way to the end. We'll make the uh, turn around there. Recital. Forward idle. Manual braking. Okay, brakes released. Roll it all the way down. 
So bucket traffic advisory is 2320, landed runway 090, backtracking runway 27, then it will enter the ramp via East Taxi Ways and look. Yeah, yeah. So heading 070. I didn't know we landed already. <laughs> oh, don't go there. Okay. okay, clean up, except strobe lights on. Oh, crap, I forgot to uh, turn on the replay. I'm sorry, guys. Yos and I. Talaga. Start APU, start APU. After landing checklist, radar and predictive wind shear. Off oh, after landing check is complete. Yeah, you did well, guys. You did well. Welcome to Zamboanga, y'all. We're going to be showcasing this before we uh, end the stream. Fortunately, guys, I did not turn on the replay, so sorry. Part of Zambonga is an air base on the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the eastern end. One point zero four G's. A A A. It's in the ramp. To the ramp. No. Why did you stop? <laughs> Why did you stop? Have a sunny twenty. Back. Let's go close to the terminal, shall we? What? So when you do partial braking, it's gonna automatically break? Like, God. Seriously? Stand one. Ganda talaga yung gawa ni Irvin, grabe. Ganda ng scenery. Yung hindi na maganda yung FS2020. Ring lights off for them. Oh, wala pang marshal eh. Parking brake on, pressure up, the if you bleed on, engine one and two off. Cabin crew, doors two, arrival, cross check. Roof and carpet, set shocks and connects on the power. Roger. Shocks are set. So, parking brake off. 
fuel pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. And strobe lights off. Parking shackles, parking brakes, shocks. Uh, Chalk set, engines off, wing lights off, fuel pumps off, parking check is complete. Guys, welcome. We don't have stairs. Let's get stairs. Welcome, welcome to Air Will Zamwanga. So, no replay, guys. We are going to be um, doing this but uh, we're gonna be looking at the aerial scenery first before we do so let's go to drone view no, there it's deep plane nari go tayo naman tayo dito sa mga ground equipment ganda talaga ng ano ng itchur grabe talaga si air wheel yan mga kahit natin tong si sir Yes. Wait, what? Are you saying thumbs up to the signboard or to someone or the plan? I can't tell. <laughs> uh, few bag carts. Oops. Uh, we got security. We got fences, ULDs. We are stand one. Manila, Davao, Jan Parlo, Miranda, welcome to the Sky Blue Simulation stream. Thank you for stopping by. Cebu Pacific, Manila, and Tawi Tawi. Uh, this looks great, man. Bienvenidos. Yeah, exactly. Vehicles and ULDs. We got the cargo terminal, Cebu Pacific. Anything else here? None. I'm pretty sure a few GAs can park on this end of the ramp. I like this one. There we go. Got the tower here. Sports cars. All right. We're talking. Got the RFFS. RF. I got that's a Zamboanga tower. This is the view. That's the ramp. That's our aircraft. Got a couple of fuel tr uh, Bowsers. Got some GA. Very nice. Camera. Yeah, drones. Make the drone speed just a bit faster. 63 should be good. Parking area uh, too fast. Make it thirty. And twenty. Of course, the land side has a lot of detail. We got barriers. Center nine, Sabanga City. We got the entrances. Oops. Philippine is either a ticketing office or cargo. I'm not sure what exactly this is. Garden Orchid Hotel. That's very near to Zamboanga Airport. Very convenient. The entry point for the airport. We have a police presence here, obviously. CR, Spasalubong. Damn, son. Nice to see you can get Pasalubongs just nearby, dude. Okay, land side. Nice little hotel here. Very nice. Vines Coffee. I think this is uh, Airville's wife. <laughs> There's a helipad there. It's a nice touch. Anything in the distance that we're supposed to see or not see? That's the aerodrome beacon. Drone speed, make it 50. Okay, so we're going to KCC Mall. Never been here, never been to Zamboanga. 
Ah, I love this. Look at this. Look at these buildings. There's a Chow King. 24 hours with Wi Fi. Oh my gosh. Of course, we got Greenwich and Jollibee. We got KCC Mall. I've never been here. I've never been to Zamboanga. Very nice. Got uh, containers here. Kind of maybe a bug here, I guess, with the uh, Atos 2020 scenery. Protruding on Ariel's work. We have a parking lot of some kind here. I don't know what this is for. Maybe it's a uh, shipping yard, maybe? Let's go around the airport. <clears throat> so if we went here, we would see... Edwin Andrews Air Base for 3rd Air Division, Philippine Air Force. Nice! Oh look, a basketball court. <laughs> Obviously. Philippines is represented with food, friendliness, and basketball. FFP. Airport Ops Vehicles, Helipad, GA. It says. I could definitely do a GA flight in Dozambanga as well. Helipads. It's up here. Hangar. Vehicle bay. Do talagang gawin ni Sir Ariel kahit kailan. Kung anong scenery na uh, inahawak niya. Nagiging ginto. My God. It's an oval here. This is the Zambanga VR. It's a very uh, important VR. It's used on route as well. Anything here? I think these buildings were individually placed by Airwell. It's awesome. Couple of warehouses. Pretty sure we put the trees in here. Some works going on zero nine. Not sure if this is gonna just a turnaround pad or we're gonna put a hangar here. All right, guys. So I think we're done with the stream with the showcase. Again. Skyblue Simulations, thanks Sarah for providing us with beautiful scenery. Yesterday we did a VFR flight from Bagadian to Depolog and then to Lagindigan. We did an IFR flight today from Katiklan to Zamboanga. Very nice. Alright guys, again my name is Skyblue aka Drew. We'll be ending the stream in a bit. And uh, I guess good to be back streaming. It's a bit tiring, but Good to be back in general. Once again, guys, my name is Sky Blue, aka Drew. Have a wonderful rest of your night, day, or well, for those who will be watching the stream. Till then, peace. See you.